it's time to create some cool water so let's go and find my water material right here double click on it and you can see that it comes with uh, the map and the normal map that I've created so for those guys let's start and work it out I have to put it to translucent because it's water and we're going to use surface translucency volume because we want to adjust other parameters and I actually in metallic I used I think metallic for this one because I wanted to have a little bit cool looking water so let's put one for metallic for specular we saw glass 0.5 Actually, for specular, I've put something like 0.8, a little bit more reflective. For uh, roughness, we have to put 0 because it's very uh, clear. Okay, and um, let's move those guys here see how our shader being updated and for opacity I've used for now now this for now needed to have some more values so I've increased it and we can see that it's already half a pack so it's uh, more transparent in the center and um, less on the sides let's increase this to about two now I wanted to have lights inside my swim pool so in that case my water will have will have a little bit glowy effect to it so if I go to emissive color and click three vector color here I'll be able to give some nice kind of watery cyan color to it something like this and you can see that our water becomes glowy so maybe not that glowy something like that work much better okay now for the refraction I actually want to animate it all right so now we can go and add some refraction to it same thing let's get some for now and add some uh, higher value to it all right so we can see it's been updated and we're getting really nice transparent uh, water looking water looking result now let's go ahead and animate our water uh, by using normal map so I'm going to click alt disconnect the normal and I need to create a LARP linear and with this water I'm going to control C control V duplicate it and for those we need to connect to A and to B now for UVs we need to put some animation which called panner so let's pan this point two and point three and let's pan those UVs in minus point two and minus point three okay now let's see how this stuff 
been updated in our preview shader here and voila our water is moving and we are ready to save this and go check out this total effect on our water so you can see it's all real time working for us pretty cool stuff we need to fix the Farnell refraction here a little bit just to be a little higher actually we need to lower them down somewhere here probably but here we go it's all got fixed and now let's save this and voila we have our water so play a little bit with this uh, refraction fernal option just to get a nice fernal back to your water but in general this is how you do your animated water with unreal